welcome back. So last part just kind of went to the weapons plant and got a bunch of items for Ren. So now let's continue the main story by visiting this place. Gumbias Tower. So, welcome to the Gumbias Temple. We even welcome Parmenians. Here at the Gumbias Temple, we not only guard the Eclipse Torch, the symbol of the Desilosian belief, but also we are the central government. Sweet. The Eclipse Torch is a holy flame. The legend states that it emits a burning light that reduces any object unworthy of this world to ashes. I once got terribly frostbitten, but the light of the Eclipse Torch cured me in moments. That is truly a holy flame. That's just what fire does in general. <coughs> I'm so grateful. It's so wonderful to be able to worship the flame of the Eclipse Torch again. I'm a trained monk. Every time I step into this place, I feel stronger. Wait, is this place where I'm supposed to be going? Whoops, that is. Huh. Not even the most precious jewel could emit such a divine light. The more I look at it, the more refreshing the light is. I feel as if my heart is being cleansed. Fire cleanses all. So there's items I should be grabbing. This is a sacred Desilogian area. Usually many people come to visit, but recently there's been a snowstorm and visitors are few and far between. How rare to see a Parmanian. Are you here sightseeing? Kinda, yeah. I'm kinda here to take your holy flame. They say there used to be a tower called Corona that stood here in the past. Is that a place in Fantasy Star 1? Or two. <laughs> I don't remember the locations from that game, past games anymore. One day, the flame of the Eclipse Torch will reduce to ashes all that is unclean. That is the legend of the Eclipse Torch. This is ho this holy flame of ours is truly beautiful. <laughs> You may not go beyond this point. Please go back. Well, they said please, so at least they're kind. Hello. Stardew. Moondew. Trimate. Oh no, I gotta discard something. A soul do? Oh, excuse me. I shall drop a trimate. I have plenty. And a soul do is way more important. <laughs> In 3D fantasy our games, not as much because they're just kind of cures of debilitation. Alright. We come to take your flame. Would you kindly let us? What? That won't do. The holy flame is something that should not go beyond this gate, even if it is the wish of loots to lightly lend our, out the torch. It's not acceptable to me. Boy, you just don't get it, do you? Didn't I explain the situation? The future of the entire Olgo system is hinging on this. Won't do, won't do. What can't be... What? Wait, what can't be, can't be. Oh, huh? What's that? <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you very much. What the hell do you think you're doing? Ha, ha, ha. We are beings who live in the air castle. Hey, you, the one dressed in white. If you're loose, you remember, don't you? You know who will be waiting for you at the air castle. I'll take possession of the Eclipse Torch. If you want it back, then come and get it. That is, if you don't mind losing your life. <laughs> Ah, what a disaster. The flame which was we hold holy has been stolen. It's my punishment punishment for being so narrow-minded. 
Oh, how am I to bear the responsibility for this? Don't get so depressed. It was taken by force. It's not your fault. All we have to do is go and retrieve it. Oh, oh, would you really? Thank you very much. But in exchange, you better lend it to us after we recover it. Oh, oh, of course, yes. No question about that. Rune, about the air castle. You said you knew about it. They said he knew about it. Oh, yes. It's in Lutz's memory, to be precise. It's a castle that floated in the skies of the planet Parma a long, long time ago. The planet Parma? In that case, it would have been destroyed a thousand years ago. The planet Parma exploded, and there's only an asteroid belt left where the planet used to be. Could it be that, miraculously, the air castle survived, and even now it's in the midst of the asteroids? The probability of that is very low. At any rate, I will check it. I will check it out with the sensors on the Lendale. Rune, I have one more question. Who is that person those witches were talking about? The first generation Lutz and his companions, Alice, Meow, and Odin, fought a man in the air castle. That man's name was Lajic. Is that who they mean? Lajic was defeated by the first generation Lutz. I don't know what we'll find until we get there. Well, let's go back and revisit another old air quoting here. Friend. <laughs> We're, we're, we're returning. We're literally returning to a place from Fantasy Star One, a dungeon from Fantasy Star One. And coincidentally, the Air Castle is also the largest dungeon in Fantasy Star Four. Well then, let's go ahead and search for the Air Castle. I'm getting something, although very slight. It is definitely something. Can you get it on the screen? I will try. That looks like an air castle to me. That's it. That's the air castle, all right. It has a spooky atmosphere. Ooh, are we getting a little scared, <laughs> huh, Chaz? Don't, don't be ridiculous. We're going in. All right, Fancy Star One location. Here we go. Air castle will be the destination. <laughs> Naturally, it has to play a Fantasy Star 1 song. Gravity is normal and there is a breathable atmosphere. This is clearly an artificial condition. They seem to be expecting us, huh? They should have remastered the theme that played on this level, originally. Alright, I'm gonna try to navigate this place without using a guide, but this might be my doom. Stoneheads. <laughs> but I'm also about 10 levels higher than what the guide recommended. Let's see how this goes, shall we? Doo -doo, the path is blocked. Spectre. Wow, whopping 200 damage. Oh, hold on, I gotta try something real quick. Nice XP gain. So apparently the Silver Tusk is kind of useful for these guys. I mean, it had to be given to us for some reason, so I'm going to try this out. <laughs> Dimension Worm. They're fast. I see why, whoops, we bring the, uh, not even father fighting those things. Silver toxins, that was really damaging to them. 
<laughs> God, I hate their fast speed. go silver tusk is very useful now if I navigate this place yeah fuck you I'm not fighting you guys only Rika can do anything again with the damage and worms go to hell please oh my god I like ye. <laughs> Naturally gonna save feature abuse. What'd that do? Did that do anything to Chaz? Unfortunately, we don't have Raja, so we can't regenerate technique points. Sega is really awesome at getting musicians for their games. Tag him, tag him. Boy him, attack him, and just attack him. <laughs> Ooh, that what is this? The Trimate. This card. Oh, you actually put it back? That's cool. Ew, they got tongues? compared to other crap. I like the background. Frost Saber. The recolors are real. I'm using try mate. Boo, 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 doo, boo, boo. I can get rid of some of these antidotes. God damn, those things are good. Thousand Masada. Am I supposed to go downstairs? No, I don't think so. Oh, 
I love it when their special attacks miss. <laughs> Not sure what it's supposed to do, but hey. Hey, rune leveled up. Nice. 38, 41, 36, 34, 35. Blade right. Well, I mean, his name's correct. His blade is on the right hand. Miss. Miss. Okay, note to self, G4 useless against those guys. Which kind of makes sense because they are fire. Look, they look like they're fire based. But I think Rika can go for another salvo since it's like 300 points increase with the trimates. G-Boy's pretty useless against those guys, too. I feel like I'm going the right way, which is good. Well, let me try this out. So attack, attack. <laughs> so if G-Boy is useless, let's try G-Watt. Attack, attack. If he survives long enough. There we go. Yeah, there we go. G Watt, the one we do. Try mate. G Watt. Congratulations! Ooh. Oops! Drop a save right here. Dude. Sorry, I have to explore this. What are you hiding from me? Oh, wait, no. Man. Him, him, and just tack him. That makes my life easy. Does Kyra have healing powers? Yeah, a little bit. That's good to know. 4,000 to set out. Thankfully, we're at a decent enough level to be able to run away frequently.
think it's time for Rika to have a, um... Hey, Ren leveled up. Nice. They have a try, mate. Swift Helm. This is agility too. Nice. It's hiding up here. I think that's the path we went. You know, I'm kind of glad that these dungeons in this game are a little straightforward compared to the past games. <laughs> it's nice. I mean, the biggest challenge is the enemies, so that's fair. It's very fair. It took till Fantasy Star 4 for things to get balanced. At least their attacks are fast. Kyra leveled up. Ooh, and she just learned Nayrez. Kick ass. And I should use a trimate on her. Damn it. Frost Saber. Oh, we got a try, mate. Sweet. An escape pipe. Don't need it. Keep it. Not quite there, I believe. Nope. Fancy Star 2, so has the better. Hey! Guess who's level 40? No, 39. Caught up to the second save. Oh, I'm gonna look this way. Nope, okay, wait. Ah, see? There was light glowing there. That's dead end anyway. Well, I'm gonna save here just in case, because I feel like this is a boss fight. <laughs> You're not the boss. Stupid controller, I didn't do that. Be gone with you. <coughs> uh, he put up a D-Ban. This is not a boss fight anymore. But I recognize we're making progress. Ooh, look at that background. Well, on their stairs. Yeah, 
8,000 Mesetta. Alice missed stuff, man. Kyra is actually pretty aggressive with her magics, too. So, I mean... That's good. I'm missing items, oh well. Nope, I recognize where we're at. I don't think there's enemy encounters outside. That's actually very nice. Oh, I recognize this. Yeah, we're officially here. If I missed items, I already said this, I believe. Oh well, how's everyone doing? Red is great. Rune is fine. Chaz could use some health, I guess. All right, let's rock and roll. What's up? Ha 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 ha! You've come. However, ha 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 We have no use for anyone but Lutz, and we have only one use for him. Ha 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 ha! We will mutilate and kill him with these very hands. <coughs> Ziathul. Well, I didn't look at the guy to figure out what I'm supposed to do, so. Attack! Saner. Okay, let's go with a Nafoy. Barrier. And just this attack. Not bad. We'll try a different attack next. <laughs> Let me try a... Oh yeah, Chaz learned that. Nathu... Rika, you can use... Nasar... Let's try Nawat. And we'll just go with a normal attack. And you can... I get, do you have a SAR? No. Let's go with... Thaleo. <coughs> Woo, that's a good attack. That's an annoying attack. Uh, everyone's good. So Chaz, once again, Nathu, Rika, you can double slash, Ren, and Arun. I keep confusing your names. Uh, let's go with their attack. Oh wait, hold on. We have it, might as well. Burst Rock! And Faleel again. Oh, they combine attack. That's the first time in this Let's Play. It happened a few times off screen, but this is that's the first time in a let's in this Let's Play that the attack combined. It was sweet. 
<laughs> the one that I was using a lot when I was grinding was Blizzard between Chaz and Rune. Do that again. Nathu. Double slash. Get a Faleel going. Burst Rock again. And another Faleel. Man, that Silver Tusk just fucks shit up. Shooting Star! <laughs> Neat. You're all alone, buddy. What you gonna do? I know there's a healing station behind the, these guys, so we're good. Ah, <clears throat> oh, we didn't get the combination. Lame. Wow, that's a lot. Rika leveled up. And only one person leveled up. Heal! Ba 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 uh. Bum 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 bum. 200,000 Masetta. <laughs> Chaz still has quite a bit to go before he hits 4. Yeah, 40. Rune's getting pretty close to 37. Alright. I think this is a good spot. We completed one half of this dungeon. We'll finish, hopefully finish the dungeon in the next part. So, thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye!